Hello everyone, it's Elijah from Stanton 101. Welcome back to another thermochemistry lesson. Today I'll be going more in depth into calorimetry by covering how to find final and initial temperatures of water and a hot metal when a hot metal is placed into some water. Now let's start with this first one. A 360.0 gram piece of iron is dropped into 425 milliliters of water at 24.00 degrees Celsius. The final temperature of the water was measured as 45.70 degrees Celsius. Calculate the initial temperature of the metal. Now in these problems when you are sort of putting two different heat changes together you use Q equals M S delta T that looks like an A, but it's a, it's a delta. Except, instead of doing Q equals MS delta T just once, you just do MS delta T plus MS delta, oh, that's too big, MS delta T equals zero. And in this case, you would do this one because there are two different things. You have the iron and you have the water. So first, let's do our iron for the first MS delta T. The mass is 360.0 grams. The specific heat, which was given to me um, in a packet of problems for my chemistry class, uh, this is just for iron. I guess you could look these up if you wanted to do more practice problems. But the specific heat of iron is 0 0.4440 joules over grams Celsius. And then the change in temperature, it says the final temperature was 45.70. However, we are still looking for the initial temperature, and that's what we will be calculating. And remember that the delta T equation is delta T or change in temperature equals the final temperature minus the initial temperature. So then you would add that to the MS delta T for water, which would be the mass 425 milliliters, be, or no, 425 grams, I'm sorry, because the density of water is one gram for every milliliter. So 425 grams times the specific heat of water, which I was forced to memorize, 4.184 joules over grams Celsius. And then 45.70 is the final temperature. And the final temperatures are the same for both because they need to sort of balance each other out and reach an equilibrium, if you will. And then it says the water was originally at 24.00 degrees Celsius, so 24.00. Now before we continue with this problem, let's calculate the delta T of water real quick. 45.70 it's really sloppy, I'm sorry. I'm using a mouse. I need to probably get a pad soon. So 45.70 minus 24 is 21.7 degrees Celsius. I don't know why I had to use a calculator for that. I guess I've just had a long day. So 21.7. To multiply for this, we need to do what in algebra is known as foiling, or that's what I was taught. So 360 times 0 0.440 times 45.70. And now for this, I'm going to be canceling out all the units except for Celsius, because that's what we're trying to find. And we will leave Ti as a variable, like x. You can think of it as x if you'd like, but I'm going to think of it as Ti because it's what we're calculating. So 360 times 0.444 times 45.70, that will be 7,304.688. 
and with foiling, 360 times 0 0.4440 times negative Ti, or initial temperature, is 150 or minus 159.84 Ti. Don't forget that. Ti is like x in this situation. You're solving for x. It's very important. And then finally, you multiply for the water, which is 425 times 4.184 times 21.7, which is a gigantic 38,586.94. Now, with how our problem set up, ms delta t plus ms delta t equals zero, we need to remember that this all right here needs to equal zero. So let's let's sort of equalize and put the like variables on either side. So in order to do that, let's move our ti variable to the other side. So it turns into a positive once it gets over here, so it'll be 159.84 ti is equal to 45,891, oops, gotta fix that five there, 45,891.628, probably more specific than I need to be. So then we divide 45,891.628, this number, by 159.84 Ti, and we get that Ti, or the initial temperature, is equal to 287 degrees Celsius. Now, there's probably a few decimals after here. In fact, there are, but I'm just doing significant figures because there's three significant figures up here. So now let's do our next problem. A 222.0 grams piece of copper at 200.00 degrees Celsius is dropped into 80.00 milliliters of water at 20.00 degrees Celsius. Calculate the final temperature. Now this one will be different from the last one because we'll be calculating the final temperature rather than the initial temperature. So our problem will be set up the same, which will be ms delta T plus ms, oh this isn't a T, it's a plus, sorry if that's sloppy plus ms delta t is equal to zero. So let's set it up. First we will do the copper. It's 200, the, the mass is 222 grams. The specific heat is 0 0.3850 joules over grams Celsius. And delta T is the final temperature, which is not provided to us, minus the, oops, <laughs> minus the initial temperature, which was 200. Now let's do the water. It was 80 milliliters of water. And again, remember density, so it's 80. 0 0.00 grams times the specific heat of water, 4.184 joules over gram Celsius. And then again, final temperature, which was not given to us, minus initial temperature for delta T, which was 20.0 zero degrees Celsius. So now let's do some multiplication. 222 times 0 0.3850 is equal to 85.47. So that'll be our first TF variable because with FOIL we multiply into this one first. So this will be 85. 
AB247TF, and remember to do the th same thing you did with TI, turn TF into sort of a variable like X would be. And now let's multiply th these two, or 85.47, by negative 200, we should get 17, or minus 17,000, oh, gosh, it's really bad, isn't it? So, minus 17,094, and then, and now let's do the water. So 80 grams times 4.184 joules over grams Celsius will be 334, sorry about this right here, 334.7 2 TF remember to include the TF variable for that first one and then this number 334.42 times negative 20 equals minus 6694.4 sorry for my bad handwriting it's just another characteristic of me so now let's do like we did with the last problem and make sure that both sides are equal. So when you add the TFs together, it will be equal to 420.19 TF. And when you put these two numbers on the other side, they will become positive and will become 23,700 and 88.4 and when you uh, divide this number by this number you get TF and TF will be equal to 56.61 degrees Celsius which is the final temperature of both water and copper in this situation so thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully this will help you with any upcoming tests or any review that you need to do before AP or IB chemistry or for those that are in chemistry who just want to know more. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped and see you in the next lesson.